To take up from where we left off last time, let's explain all this with some very simple maths. Now we have here a, an awesome camera, it's a Hasselblad XD150C. It's got a 50 megapixel uh, sensor, which means that in one direction it can capture 8,272 pixels and the other dimension 6,200 pixels. So that's a, a total of 51,286,400 pixels. So that's a huge amount of genuine pixels it's capable of capturing from an image. Now let's say we take this camera and we take all of these, these uh, accurate pixels and we size up a print from this image uh, to 300 pixels per inch at A4. Now at A4, at 300 pixels per inch, we're only actually taking 3,507 pixels this, in this direction and 2,478 pixels in this direction. So it's a total of just over eight and a half million pixels out of a total of over 50 million pixels. Well, it means to say that over 80% of our genuine pixels are lost. Out of five genuine pixels, they add, the software averages it all out into one remaining pixel. That's what resampling actually is. Now, what do we do about this? Well, we recommend that you, the ideal document resolution would be, let's have a look at this camera, 50 megapixels, an A4 image, we're saying that you should size up your document resolution to 720 pixels per inch. That then pretty well uses virtually all of your genuine camera pixels. When we size up to A3, let's look at this now. At A3, if we do it the conventional way, we're, we're talking about sizing up a document in A3 physical size uh, at 300 pixels per inch, which actually works out to 4,960 pixels by 3,500 pixels in the other dimension, which is a total of 17, just over 17 million pixels. That's still over 60% of our genuine camera pixels are not being used. What the resampling software actually does is it samples three genuine pixels and it averages them out into one pixel remaining. So out of three, you only get one out of uh, uh, handed on. Now the ideal document resolution for a camera like this at 50 megapixels uh, uh, for an A3 size print, let's have a look, what does it say? It says 480 pixels per inch. That way we would be using virtually all of the genuine uh, 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 pixels from our camera. The last example is an A2. So when we size up to printer A2 at 300 pixels per inch, uh, the, it uses uh, 7,014 pixels in this direction and 4,959 pixels in this direction. Now, it's not too bad. You're losing about 30% of your genuine pixels. It's not, not terrible. Only a third of your, of your genuine pixels are, are being lost for every one pixel remaining. It's, it's not too bad. But uh, we would still advise that you bring your document resolution up from the traditional 300 pixels per inch up to a more sensible 360 pixels per inch. Now, to summarize, for extremely high pixel count digital cameras, such as this, over 50 megapixels, to use genuine captured ca camera sensor pixels in your print, you will need to prepare your document resolution at a high 720 pixels per inch for A4, 480 pixels per inch for A3 and, and 360 pixels per inch for A2. 
Now for our US friends, that means 720 pixels per inch for a, a, a print of eight and a half by 11, which is your equivalent. 480 pixels per inch for a, a 17 by 11 and 360 pixels per inch for this camera when you're printing up to a 17 by 22. The bigger the print, the lower document resolution you need as you have more printing size to accommodate all those genuine pixels. The smaller the print, the higher the document resolutions that you are needed to accommodate all these genuine camera sensor pixels. And to illustrate that point, we've got an extended uh, spreadsheet here which shows that on a 50 megapixel uh, um, uh, camera, if you're printing to 10.8, we would advise you to go to 820 pixels per inch. And with a camera like this printing down to 7 by 5, we would advise you to go to 1200 pixels per inch. And with a camera like this to print, uh, to use all the 50 megapixels to 6 by 4, we would, ex we would reckon for you to go to the absolute maximum, which is 1440 pixels per inch. That way, you're using all of your genuine camera pixels and you're transferring them into your print. Now, we'll take a break here and we'll continue uh, this subject in the next movie.